yes it does not in any way makes you a patriotic nigerian yes i will lose not just youtube it's not about my youtube channel i can shut this channel down and start another some of you that have made up your mind to make sure that you see that division you have been struggling to achieve in nigeria you want to bring it international some of us are here to refute it hello my people what is good what is going on welcome you to another youtube video of mine and of course if you're new here welcome my name is lily and today i want to react to this video by another content creator i came across this video on youtube and i feel like why not i have been on this campaign against division against belittling against condescending remarks on other people against lies on other people told in public so with that being said let's go straight into it first before i go into it i want you to know that i have no personal issues against anyone uh, that i'm reacting to it's all about the videos all that is said in the video about some of the things said in the video that is why i react to these videos let me allow you to listen to some clips and i'll be back again as always guys guess what I don't know why Ghana, Ghanaians, are, should I say Ghanaians are so envious, like they are jealous of Nigeria so much. You understand? So the thing they paint them, they paint them, say, ah, in all African countries, Nigeria and Nigeria with the Odogus. Do you know that yesterday a DJ was playing Nigerian music in Ghana? And one of their artists went to the DJ stand and seized the DJ laptop simply because the DJ was playing in Nigerian music in Ghana and one of their artists went to the DJ stand and seized the DJ laptop simply because the DJ was playing in Nigerian music and he told the DJ what audacity what right do you have to play a Nigerian song in Ghana I just don't know why why Nigerians are hated Cameroonians came, they just started the jealous Nigeria. But South Africa, they know they like to use I, say Nigeria. Ghana, Ghana all come worse. Like, we thought that we are one. We never knew that these people, they, they don't like us one bit. Why, why the comparison? Why the hatred? Why? Imagine a DJ was playing a Nigerian song in Ghana. And an artist went and seized the DJ's laptop. Okay, so that is a Nigerian lady bringing the good news of division, hatred, bringing it. I think there are people that enjoy this social media brouhaha between Ghanaians and Nigerians, and they love it so much that even when there is no drama, they will create one so that that can continue. But for some of us, I don't even have the energy to withstand anything. Whatever point I make in my videos, it has nothing to do with Ghanaians being my favorite people. Yes, they are one of my favorite people in the world i love them but these videos have really nothing to do with them as Ghanaians. okay i can actually express my love to Ghanaians without having to react to these videos but i am easily triggered and if you know me you know why i hate lies in my life i hate it when someone will bluntly tell a lie and i hate division and i also hate condescending remarks on other people because i have had a taste of these things growing up in my village by the time i left my village to the city i was faced with all sort of attitude and i made up my mind that when i grew up i was not going to take it so when i see other people do this regardless of who is the person doing it to others i will stand up and speak if i have a platform and yes i have this platform and i will use it to speak nothing but the absolute painful truth so this lady brought the this news of black cherry seasons in the laptop of a dj someone has a counter video to that one i'm going to play some clips from that one so that you guys will hear and then i'll be back again to give my own bias opinion as always which is a big lie and i'm going to give you proper detailed evidence that shows that nothing of that sort had ever happened or taken place in ghana in fact i was shocked when 
Chief said that, or Chief confronted me, I asked, DJ, I want you to confirm this or deny this because I know you stand for the truth. And definitely I will do justice to it. And I think her aim is to turn or to create a lot of enemies for Ghana or create a lot of Ghanaian enemies for Nigeria. I don't know what she wants to achieve, but it's clear that her mission is to see these two countries at war. I was at the event that this lady was talking about, and I'll explain the exact thing that happened. This thing has nothing to do with Nigerians. She's evil. There was an event that was scheduled to, you know, happen during the Christmas season. Both Shatawale and Papi Kojo were booked to be on that event. Black Sheriff was no close to that event. The organizers failed to do what they have to do as a, when it comes to monetary terms. Things that they were supposed to put in place for the artists to perform. They did not pay. Meanwhile, they have used these musicians to advertise for the show they have done. And this show we are talking about is called Juniland. Happy Kojo, who went to the event grounds and felt that his image and his brand has been used to promote the event, decided to hijack the event and not allow the event to happen which i don't support what he did because that is another stupid act which i always speak against it he went ahead to seize the laptop of the dj the dj was not playing in any nigerian song and that is not the center of the whole conversation the conversation was about the artist not being paid and so for that reason he was upset with the organizers and so he sees the laptop of the dj which i felt it was a stupid act but then if this lady should cook the story come out here and tell people that black sheriff went out there to seize the laptop of DJ. The DJ's name is VJ Legend. Anybody here can find him on Instagram and ask him. And I'm sure any Ghanaian watching this thing will be shocked. And so guys, you know that the problem which is bringing this unity and hatred between Ghana and Nigeria is not only coming from Ghana, but we have evil Nigerians like us. So now you heard it uh, from someone who believes strongly that the lady is lying now i am not saying the lady is lying or speaking the truth neither am i saying the guy is speaking the truth or lying the truth is i am just like you but you can choose to believe whatever you want i just want to put these two videos together hand in hand so you be the judge whatever one you want to pick whatever you believe is absolutely up to you i do wonder why do you want people to fight so bad even when there is no issues even when there are no issues you want people to fight you want nigerians and Ghanaians to constantly be at each other's neck and majority of all that are nigerians that lives in ghana are here on social media when all of this is happening we are the ones that are affected the most because now some will just start fighting you for no reason you so whoever you want to believe is absolutely up to you but for me i am wondering whether i believe her or not my question is why do you enjoy this news what is it going to profit you to come up with oh they are hating on you go and hate them back right that is the message oh they are doing this to you do them back right seriously they have to be boundaries to how we do this thing and you are coming with the nigerian flag as a nigerian you are coming in with full chest as a nigerian you want this hatred you want this division at all costs some of our people love division that's as a matter of fact cry me a river down there at the comments but you like division you want to be divided at every level back at home some regions don't want to be they feel like they are better than some some states feels like they are better than some states even with the same even though they speak the same dialect and there's some regions feel like they are more better than some then you come international again you want to bring that out it's not good it does not speak well of us can we just try 
and promote peace instead and then you guys would they will do all these things and still want to look for who to blame for me you won't see me come out here to promote hate i will not do it i will not so if you like say i do not love my country enough that is absolutely none of my business but you see this promotion of hate you know bringing out hate speech and all that you won't catch me doing them i will not do it i'm sorry i will not do it this lady seriously wants nigerians to be aware that Ghanaians have finally banned nigerian music in ghana i think that's what she wants and now i should come out here and applause her for that naturally let me take you guys back to this lady i know her on social media and i think i heard that she's an actress in nigeria and a lot of nigerians do not take her seriously but some nigerians will love her now because of this type of video but this lady does not in any way represent me or some nigerians out there of course she represents some nigerians of her caliber who just love division who love to hate who love to find fault even when there is none so uh, believe whatever you want to believe but for me i think i've chosen who to believe and obviously let's do your do your calculation i believe the dj because he does videos of great reviews of Nigerians, do videos and he expresses sincere love for Nigerians. He promotes peace between Ghanaians and Nigeria. He hold it together when everywhere is is out there everyone is you know out there feeling bitter feeling angry he holds it together just like i hold it together so i choose to believe him because i put myself in his shoes and i see that he will never lie he will never take side with Ghanaians to please nigerians just like me i will never take side with nigerians when they are wrong just to please nigerians so i choose to believe the dj i think that this lady is lying they just want division upon division they want it at all costs and then at the end of the day they make it look like they are the ones that genuinely love nigeria wants other people to believe they are the ones that love nigeria you calling on people to hate on other nationality does it does not in any way make you a patriotic nigerian yes it does not in any way makes you a patriotic nigerian so please caution yourself these things that we do back at home we divide ourselves Eh, hey, you be this one will say ah you be this you be that this one will say you are from here you are from there you are from that can we just leave it at home there and not bring it across the borders yes some of us are affected and we hate it me personally i don't want that i do not want to be part of it so if you don't want me to talk about it stop making these videos and basically this lady is lying yeah this lady is lying she's a liar she's used she just won division at all costs can you people just for once pretend that please stop this division keep it at home keep this your our behavior that we do back at home keep it at home stop bringing it international there are a lot of nigerians if anything goes wrong between nigerians and Ghanaians, they will lose a lot including the people from your region the region that makes you feel like okay yeah, this one's eh they will lose a lot and myself i will lose a lot yes i will lose not just youtube oh, it's not about my youtube channel i can shut this channel down and start another and all i need to do is to believe in it and continue to put in work and i will blossom again but what i'm saying is that it will affect me because i have Ghanaian friends and i have my family in nigeria and i have my, some of my, in fact, I have families that are Ghanaians and I have families that are Nigerians. So this is going to affect me. So for some of you that have made up your mind to make sure that you see that division you have been struggling to achieve in Nigeria, you want to bring it international. Some of us are here to refute it. Thank you so much for watching this video and I'll see you in another one. Bye.